don't know if you can see me. Hopefully, I'm set it up right. Let's get the microphone on. It's raining out. Okay, so normally I don't really, I, mean, I haven't been doing videos much when I make instruments, but uh, and normally this this really uh, right now I'm making a Mitsuori Mitsuori Sao Sao which means neck. Um, oh, this is kind of high. Which is a three piece. Maybe I'll tag I'll attach a little bit um, to show you what that is. Basically, it's where are we? <laughs> two two. Basically, it's uh, a neck that can come apart. So there's mortise and tenon joints that, that join them together. Uh, it's quite an intense um, <laughs> thing. I don't mind telling you. Um, this is the land of one tenth of a millimeter. It's like, oh, I'm going to commit suicide kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um, so what I'm doing this is the, we could say the blank of the neck. It's much bigger than the finished neck will be. But I start with this large size. And then what I'm going to do is gradually get the pieces to, to, to more or less fit well. That means making everything square and super flat. Because it needs, when it joins together, essentially, you can probably see that now. Actually, it's not too bad, actually. Like that cut is pretty good. But it needs to be, it ends up being, I wouldn't say invisible, because if you look from here, you can see it. But from a distance, you'd never know there was a join there. So that's part of the challenge and the joy of it all, is that it's basically invisible. So right now, this part here, it's partly because when I was cutting it, I, I, I tried the bandsaw this shot, and it actually worked quite well. I put a new blade on and everything. This wood will dull a blade like, I don't know, we can probably do eight of these and pfft, that's it. So right now, what happens is it's coming out and it's just coming out a bit like that. But it, it literally is a quarter of a millimeter or something. So what I'm trying to do is just flatten that out. And you can see how fine we go. Like that's literally, I'll just take the pencil line off and then recheck and recheck. The other thing is, here, I think it's still like that, here, there's a little, it's a little bit like here, and then it goes straight and then bulbs out a bit. It's just, this is natural, you know, like, this wood, you know, I use, I use really great saws, I have some beautiful Japanese saws, but this wood will just drive you crazy, because a slight different pressure in the grain will twist the saw out. I mean, we are talking small amounts, right? But holy, it makes a difference. So right now, I have to bring down this area and this area. Which is what I'm doing, slowly. And and this is the... I'm not like an... What do they call that? O, is it OCD? Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. I'm not really inclined that way uh, in my daily life. I'm quite kind of the opposite, actually. Um, so... Uh, my natural inclination is, is not to be obsessed about stuff too much. I mean, I can be like anyone, but... Uh, however, it's pretty fun to delve into this. You know what I mean? Like, I have to get myself completely psyched up for it. You know? And, ooh, that's getting really close, actually. And what I'll do is I'll hold it up to the light. It, it doesn't need to be perfect, because what I'll do is as, like, the fingerboard will be... The width of the fingerboards are around three millimeters, so it kind of varies a bit, but that's the actual width going to be, right? So you can see how that, like this part won't really matter. So I'm not too concerned with this. However, um, and also the other part that won't matter is the, the tenon will be up here. So up here is not so vital. It is, I mean, it's all vital. And I find the best way to go it's just to be an absolute perfectionist for every step of the way. Because it, uh, <laughs> because it just reverberates, right? Like one little bit of a screw up here will just reverberate down the road and then you'll be like, oh God, I gotta somehow get around this. And part of the challenge is getting around things, right? 
anyway, I love it. It's really fun. Got to be in a certain frame of mind. I can't really do more than a couple hours of this um, per day. Oh, well, sometimes I can, I guess, but I just got to see how it feels as I go, you know. It's actually looking pretty good. See, now, like, I'll chisel it, but now I'm using the edge of the chisel <laughs> as a scraper, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's sharp enough that I can just take off the tiniest amount. And I'll use the edge of two, of course. And I can judge the squareness here. I mean, this is a better chisel for that, but the edge isn't totally square at the moment. Probably because I, uh, when I was sharpening, I went off square a bit. Anyway, whatever. I can, the first edge, so it's not much different. Anyway, better to, again, everything reverberates. Everything becomes exponential, just like climate. <laughs> just like we're in exponential climate change now, and no one, hardly anyone knows it yet. But you will soon, I tell you. Soon there'll be nothing much to care about. In Quebec, you're worried about women wearing, covering their faces? Yeah, you're not going to be thinking much about that in the very near future. And also, how do, what do you do in the winter, is what I was wondering. What do you do in the, putting this bill through in Quebec, or trying to? A lot of opposition, some people are supporting it, I guess. Uh, so, in the, when it's 30 below zero, I guess everyone has to get frostbite on their noses. Anyway, whatever. But anyway, just wanted to show you that aspect. And I guess down the road I'll do one where you'll see the mortise and how it actually looks. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. Wait, okay, hang on a sec. Okay, hello. Hello. Okay, let's get the mic going here. Got some music going. See if YouTube objects. Sometimes they do. Okay, okay, here's what I'm doing. I'm working on the sow, which is sow, which is the neck of the shamisen. Um, this is a, a three-piece neck, and you can see I've got mortise and tenon joints here. And that's how they join together. This is very tricky. <laughs> <laughs> this is like if, this is like the job for someone who is oh it um, what is it OCD that's it um, yeah so right now what I've done I've how can I explain this I'm a little bit word poor today I guess but anyway I what I do is I I, I start making the the whole I gotta turn this music off hang on. Okay, I'm back. That was, I love that, especially that song is my favorite song right now, but I just can't think when it's on. Okay, so what I do is this hole here, I start with the same size, right? So what I'll do is I'll butt these up together and then take a pencil mark and draw around in here. Pencil, no pencil. Well, there's pencils here somewhere. Oh, here so I'll take a pencil mark and draw in here. It's a little bit rough but close enough and then what I do is I take a drill and just it's a quarter quarter inch drill and I just drill straight down and that sort of gets this st the hole started and then I'll square it off just by eyeball and, and by using that mark and then what I'm doing is I'll just slowly I'll open it enough because it's tapered right you can see it's tapered I'll put a bit of oil on the end uh, this wood is so hard. It's my dang. This wood is so hard that the tiniest little thing, that the tiniest little thing in the middle will pull it off. Do you know what I mean? It's really wild to work with. So what I'm doing now, my goal is to make this join here. I mean, you can see it when you're close. Like right now, the, the best way to do it is is to look look up at light, and if there's no light shining through, then you know you're on the right track. 
So and then what I'll do, I'll just snug that in and I'll put it in by hand. And while I'm doing that, I'll just slowly tap it in. It's, and it's opening up right now. It's opening up here. Uh, so then I have to figure out what's going on. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, anyway, it's back and forth. I, c I can look into here and I can see where there's slight gap. So there's a slight gap on this side. There's a slight gap here. And this is tight. So then what I'll do is I'll just take a file and open that up a bit. And basically going back and forth, back and forth from this uh, mortise to this mortise to this tenon. Normally I try to get the tenons pretty much set, right? But I will, I will take them down too. Uh, the danger is you can kind of start chasing your tail if you start screwing around too much with it. Actually, when I look at this, it's a little bit not quite tapered evenly. So I'll just take off. It's crazy. We're talking, we're talking micromillimeters here, eh? Okay, so that's pretty snug. I can see a bit of light in there. That's okay for now. Tap that in. Okay, it's opening up already. So, pretty tight though. Hmm. It's almost like there's something in the mortise, it's pulling it out, you know? So maybe what I'll try is I'll have a look and see. Let's have a look and see. Well, well maybe, maybe there's a touch right on this. The mortise is, is kind of dips down. There's a little high spot here. So maybe I'll just try taking that down a touch. I'll do for that. And here, maybe I'll look, go in the mortise and just, yeah, it's kind of, there's a little bit of a tiny ridge there. I'm talking like one tenth of a millimeter, right? It's really crazy. But anyway, super fun to do. I really like it. But I gotta be in the right frame of mind, that's for sure. And when I get to this stage, well, every stage is easy to screw up. <laughs> we have to always keep that in mind. So, that's that out. Well, you can look inside and... I don't try to make it anything perfect. It's just that it needs to fit and when it comes together it goes click, right? Um, that's my goal. There's no... That's visual... Hey, wait a minute. Oh, that popped out. There's visual elements take second place here. It's still quite tight. And when it gets tight, it kind of moves around too, right? Because you're kind of forcing it around. Yes, yeah, still this edge. How about over here? And also I can move it around and I can feel movement because you don't want any movement, right? I can, if there's movement here, I can use that as a judgment. And then I can, also take the whole thing and I won't at this stage it's, that's too it's too rough right now but you can do that as well just you can feel where the movement's happening so this looks good on this top edge and the sides look like they could come down a bit so we'll just try that oh, so I'll just be doing this this is a long job this is a big job. But it's okay. I just have the music going and I putter away bit by bit. Soon it'll be lunch. Oh shoot, I forgot which. I don't want to. Okay, it's this, this one. You don't want to file the wrong 
angle, the wrong side. <laughs> well, it's so easy to start chasing your tail in this kind of stuff, eh? Really easy. Anyway, maybe you're getting the idea. This is partly to help people if they want to make their own, but <laughs> there's only so much you can show. A lot, so much of it is just learning as it goes, you know? Of course, most things are like that. But maybe by seeing a bit, you can judge a little bit how you do it. Everyone probably has different ways. Uh, maybe this edge. Maybe this edge. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, actually, again, this is... I sometimes will taper this slightly, like a tenth of a millimeter angle down, just to give it some leeway. But there's a little bit of a hump here. So let's just work on that. I also have, this is actually a fretboard leveler, Oops. Um, which I, I use, but at this stage it's a little bit not, you know, it's really easy to, to rock it. You don't want to do that. That would be more tail chasing. And you can't, in my experience, you can't get away from at least a little bit of tail chasing in this, but that's okay. This is part of the game. So we'll just, we'll just pull this down a touch. Actually, the edge of the chisels make pretty good scrapers, too. And actually, you know what I might do? I have this, my community oil. I'm going to put a touch of oil. I don't, I don't want to get too much into oil here. I want it to be... just snug on its own terms, you know? You start piling oil into it and then you can, again, more, uh, more um, tail chasing ensues. Ooh. We don't even have a tail and we're chasing them. We'll just nudge that in, see what we got. Pretty good. Um, basically what I'm gonna do is get this in as well. Pop that in. Th I'm gonna try and get both sides about here. So we're talking about maybe two millimeters close. Um, and just slightly tapping it in. And then what I'll do is it's much wider than I need, right? And you can see there's, there's like, whatever. It's not straight. Anyway, the actual width of the fingerboard area will be here. And then it kind of curves out a bit, so that'll be this outside measurement. So then what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut, or probably cut, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, I'll, I'll rasp it or shave it down to basically the right, right um, dimensions. And then, because this isn't squared, it's kind of, uh, uh, it, there's like a slight point right here, right? It's not rounded. I don't make them rounded. I like them kind of with a, What's the word you use for that? Kind of a, anyway, there's a point, a slight, not a sharp point, but a dull point along this center line. So then I'll shave that out, right? Especially around the joints. I'll do that then. And because you're dealing with less material, there could be material in here that's interfering with, with things, you know? So by shaving it down, you start getting rid of that material, and, and then, then you can start fine-tuning it. Um... That's when you can get it in close. So basically, it has to, no, no light here, no light here, or, uh, there's a point, if there's a little tiny bit of light and you, it seems okay, it's good, because you don't wanna go too far. And also, you'll, you probably, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kinda come, the angle's not straight, right? So I'll not only shape the edges and the, and the, and the, the shape of the uh, neck, so, but I'll also flatten it, right? Flatten it down. Oh yeah, it might be time for lunch soon. <laughs> this is a nutty, nutty job. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing great. This is just, I'm making a one video of Sao making, I'm not sure when I'll stop it, but, well, we'll see. Okay, bye. I grabbed, okay.
I grabbed this is a chamisen I have oh, it's for sale by the way if you're interested it's not completely finished yet but it's getting close this one I did a little video with this a, quite a while ago this has a bone sawari square uh, azuma sawari I like these, but I'm going to use the round ones. I, just, I like them better and, oh man, it's just uh, easier to do with the tools I have. Anyway, it's adjustable, etc. Anyway, what I really wanted to show you, if you can see this, this, this is the Morrison tenon. This is pretty close to being done, actually, but there's a bit too much space here, like a tenth of a millimeter. So when I get closer to having it completely finished, I'll, I'll go back in and, and fine tune that a bit. But anyway, that's what it ends up being, okay. And you can see, can you see? This is, right now, the way these are now, they're set like this. So soon I'll be carving it down or carve this out. You can see why a little bit off at this end, like where are we? Here we go. Right? You can sort of see that a bit off here, right here doesn't matter. The center you want flat, but you can kind of work it, right? But here it doesn't matter so much. And the edge of the fingerboard's here, so this edge doesn't matter. However, like I said, I just try to do it perfectly as if right from the start. These, these kind of pop together. And to, it's kind of hard to, well, you can, but it takes a bit of pressure. So if you have one, what you usually do is put your thumb here and just hit the edge, kind of knocks the bit. There you go. Perfect. Anyway, it's super fun. I love making these necks. It's a huge additional amount of time involved, just so you know. Oh shoot, now I can't. I think I was working on this one. <laughs> Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, okay.